He was bothering me the whole time. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Mr. Jim Hall, ladies and gentlemen. Jim Hall. All right, all right. Great to be here. Great to be here. Great to be alive. Great to be alive. I think the world's going to end. There's so many terrible things going on right now. There's just so many. Every time you look on the news, everything, something's going bad. You just turn on the TV, something just is bad. There's one thing that's really pissing me off, and it's Kenny Rogers' face. He looks like, he looks like a sumo wrestler farted on his face, and he can't get over it. Why? Why? He's got a facelift or something, I'm not sure. He looks like he uh, was in a terrible, homemade, flamethrower-powered hydroplane accident. But actually, I think what happened to Kenny, I think he went to space camp. And I think he went on one of those uh, NASA centrifuge machines that just spin like this. He was getting, like, buckled in. He's like, you got to know when to hold them. They hit the on button. He's like, no, when to hold them. I think, uh, I think uh, the gambler's ready for space. And I think he's going to Mars with Elon Musk. Does anybody know who Elon Musk is? He's the Tesla guy. He's the uh, mission to Mars guy. He's the guy I don't have any idea what the hell he's doing guy. But if Kenny Rogers is in space training, this guy's in super villain training. He's got the name, his name is Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Also kind of sounds like he's a nerdy porn star. I think he stars in a vast collection of uh, erotic, erotic hardcore sex scenes in a computer lab. His latest thing is called consensual telepathy, where he wants to hook your brain up to a machine, a computer, so he can read your mind. Sounds like villain shit to me. If anyone can explain anything he's doing, after the show, I'll be in that dark corner back there, playing with a ball of yarn. A lot of inventions. Thank you. A lot of inventions these days. A lot of people are creating things like self-driving cars. I don't get this. I don't know why anyone would want a self-driving car. I mean, is this, does this mean it's the end of backseat driving? Does this mean it's the end of drunk driving? Is this what this is all about? Because some people, their only reason for living is to drive drunk. They don't live very long, but it's a reason. Another thing with these self-driving cars, um, I thought it was driving your car was American, you know, hitting the road, getting out there, hitting the open road, working on your car, watching NASCAR, American heartland shit, you know? Flyover states. I'm from that part of the country. I know what it's about. We don't want self-driving cars. No. We want to tear ass down the road. We want to cut people off. We want to consume high volumes of legal and illegal drugs and treat everyone like absolute garbage. We don't want self-driving cars. We just want to fit in when we move to Florida. Thank you. Speaking of the heartland, Bill O'Reilly comes to mind. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly's the Fox guy, recently was let go. Sexual harassment. He made a living pretending to defend the heartland. For years. A couple years back, you might not know this, but this is true. He, uh, there was a recording a woman made, uh, that he had made on a woman's uh, voicemail, where he had referred to a loofah sponge as a falafel, because he didn't know what it was called. This is a true story. <laughs> True story. So, the, so the, his fantasy went like this. See, what's going to happen is you're going to be in the shower and Billow's going to come up from behind you and he's going to reach around with that falafel. And he's going to rinse off your baklava. And then he's going to work his way down. He's going to tickle your tabule until your pedo's all shawarma.
And in the end, you're going to be covered in tzatziki sauce. That's it for me, everybody. Thank you. Jim Hall.